right, guys, here we go. Jake Paul, Nathan Diaz. Nate asked for that fight. Oh, he did. That's what that. Nate wanted to fight Francis and Ganu. Oh, damn. Nate I didn't is know that. Nate is as game as a human being has ever been. Wow. That, that dude is wild. You want? I mean, that's one of the things that Dana White said. They were like saying, "Why did you do this fight?" He's like, "That's the fight Nate wanted." It's not saying that Nate isn't a, a, an amazing fighter. Nate is an amazing fighter and has been for a long time. I mean, you can go way back. Nate has been submitting and beating people for a long time. He's, is who is taking a bigger risk? See, people are forgetting the risk that Nate took to get here. Francis Ngano and what he did contractually Full all the headlines. Nate did the exact same thing, except he did it right. He didn't get the headlines. Nate fought out his contract. Nate didn't run out the contract. Francis ran out the contract. I'm not kicking Francis, by the way. I'm just saying that these things went on simultaneously. Francis ran out the contract. He had another fight, or he could wait an entire year. He waited the entire year. He didn't do the fight. Nate did the exact same situation, except he did the fight. That's how he exhausted his contract. He did it the right way. He did what was intended. He did when all the gentlemen sat down and reached across the table and shook hands in the first place. Everybody understanding the intent the same, and that's what Nate did to get free and be able to go into boxing, be in this position in the first place. And by rumor, you know, but more than rumor, I can absolutely confirm it for you, he turned down a trilogy fight against Conor McGregor. That's how important this was for him to go and over and be able to fight against and I a real boxer. You have to fight a real boxer. Jake Paul is not We were all led to believe it was the money. It's for the people who don't understand fighting and what a world champion is. That they hate on these being power boys. At some point, you're going to have to start putting a little respect on Jake's name. They hate on me beating Anderson. So Welcome back to Luxury Tainment. This moment now. Not understanding that they are both 10 times better boxers than Tom Fury. What are they going to say now? They said you weren't going to take this fight. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the highly anticipated boxing match between social media influencer turned boxer Jake Paul and former UFC star Nate Diaz, set to take place on August the 5th at the prestigious American Airlines Center in Dallas. This fight has captured the attention of fight fans and critics alike. Jake Paul, at just 26 years old, has skyrocketed to fame as one of the most talked about figures in the sport. Despite facing criticism for his choice of opponents in previous fights, his upcoming fight with Nate Diaz has generated tremendous excitement. Diaz, a seasoned veteran at 30 years old, is stepping into the boxing ring for the first time, facing significant challenges in terms of size and age compared to his opponents. Both Paul and Diaz are major stars in their respective combat sports, which guarantees that this fight will be a blockbuster event regardless of the opinions of boxing purists. Now let's break down their fighting styles to better understand how they match up. Jake Paul's boxing approach is straightforward focusing on his powerful right hand. Throughout his seven pro boxing matches, he has demonstrated a remarkable ability to throw it with immense speed and force, making it a deadly weapon in his arsenal.
Paul's recent knockout victory over Tyron Woodley, where he set up the finishing punch with a fake jab, showcased his improved skills and strategic thinking. Paul's jab is also worth noting, as it's rare for an inexperienced fighter to consistently utilize this fundamental technique. While not an advanced boxer, he is clever enough to build strategies around his strong points, making him a formidable opponent in the ring. On the other hand, Nate Diaz, known for his illustrious MMA career, has never had a pro boxing match, making it challenging to predict his specific approach. However, his MMA record provides valuable insights into his boxing tendencies. Diaz's movement and ability to chain strikes together effectively at MMA suggests that he could be a fluid and versatile boxer. His focus on high volume punches and attacking the body in MMA may carry over to his boxing style. Although Diaz might be at a disadvantage in terms of pure technical boxing skills compared to Paul, his experience and understanding of striking could make him a slightly sharper competitor in this fight. When it comes to defensive ability, Diaz's reputation as a tough fighter precedes him. However, his high volume of significant strikes absorbed during his MMA career raises questions about his defence. In contrast, Jake Paul has shown an ability to avoid being knocked out or seriously hurt in his previous boxing matches. This suggests that Paul might have a defensive advantage over Diaz, although both fighters' specific strengths and weaknesses in this area are less clear. Power undoubtedly leans heavily in Jake Paul's favour. From early in his boxing career, he has displayed one-punch knockout power, making quick work of opponents like Nate Robinson, Ben Askren and Tyron Woodley. While Diaz has secured technical knockout victories in MMA, his style leans more towards a prolonged high-volume approach rather than raw knockout power. In terms of cardio, Nate Diaz's MMA background gives him a substantial edge. He has a proven track record of going the distance in multiple five-round fights, which is a testament to his endurance and stamina. Jake Paul, too, has shown improved cardio in his recent boxing matches going the distance against Woodley, Anderson Silva and Tommy Fury. However, the later rounds could still be an X-factor for both fighters as Paul's endurance in absorbing punishment and Diaz's ability to maintain a high-paced attack will be put to the test in this 10-round boxing fight. Now let's discuss the X-factors that could influence the outcome of the fight. For Jake Paul, his X-factor lies in exploiting his pronounced physical advantages over Diaz. He will enter the ring as the bigger, taller and stronger fighter and must use these attributes to his advantage. Clinch work, often overlooked, could play a pivotal role in the fights, and Paul's understanding of this aspect of boxing could help him control Diaz in close quarters situations. However, Diaz's vast MMA experience might make him effective in these situations despite the side's disadvantage. On the other hand, Nate Diaz's X Factor lies in his intangibles, his endurance, toughness, and experience. These traits could bolster his technical ability in the ring and help him weather the storm against Paul's powerful punches. Diaz needs to make the fight nasty by pushing the pace, using his high volume attacks to frustrate Paul and aiming for the body to sap his energy. The later rounds will be where Diaz's legendary cardio and experience could shine, potentially giving him the upper hand if he can avoid getting knocked out in the earlier rounds. Taking all these factors into account, the prediction for the fight leans slightly in favour of Jake Paul, while Diaz's technical ability and disadvantages in toughness and experience make him a formidable opponent. Paul's physical attributes such as size and power, along with his improved boxing skills, give him the edge. 
Notably, Paul's win over Anderson Silva was encouraging and showcased his ability to handle a fighter who was bigger, faster, more powerful and experienced. Nevertheless, Diaz's endurance and experience cannot be underestimated and it's possible that he could surprise everyone with an upset victory. Ultimately, the outcome will be determined by the fighters' performances on the night of the bout and with two big names like Paul and Diaz, Fight fans can expect an exciting and unpredictable boxing spectacle. So guys, who do you have winning as these two big stars in the combat sports world step into the boxing ring for what promises to be, or could be, a thrilling showdown? So guys, who do you have winning? Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment and have a great day. tested and maybe gets wrapped up in the hype and maybe gets a little nervous and this is his first chance at a big 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 show you're afraid your back's up against the wall you're like a dog in a cage scared lashing out like you did yesterday and jake paul can crack yeah a hundred percent turning him into a meme and people will see oh my gosh this kid can fight I disown him when I knock I had a plan out. stop him